I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Enough of this asshole. Rachel may have to take it, but I don't. I'm going to turn his daughter and wife against him at his own dinner table. <clears throat> I'm not sure I agree, James. Oh? I thought you of all people would be grateful for family, at least. If you ask me, gratitude is just one more way privileged people tell the unprivileged that they should be happy with what they have. That is an excellent point, Chloe. We must always be sensitive to the way our privileges shape our perspectives. Well said. Mom. Still, there must be some room for personal responsibility. I'm sure you agree, Chloe. When my mom's boyfriend talks about responsibility, it's always code for him trying to control other people. Guess that's why they teach it in the army. See? This is why it's so important to invite diverse voices to converse with one another. It's absolutely stimulating. Hmm. Highly stimulating. Since you have answers for everything, Chloe, perhaps you'd like to enlighten us with some of your hard-earned wisdom about the world. Sure. I believe the entire world is a simulation to keep us complacent while machines harvest our energy like uh, a giant battery. I call the simulation Sleepy Battery Planet. I'm confused. Yes. Chloe, I believe your point was a bit too veiled for me to understand. I keep everything on the level. Unlike this one guy I know whose name rhymes with Schmames Schmamber. Excuse me? How dare you talk to me like this? Talk to you like what? I don't understand. Yeah, Dad. What is Chloe talking about? Nothing. It's her whole... attitude. I'm done arguing. I'm going to protest your privileged autocratic fascist ideology with a hunger strike. Starting now. Well, Chloe, even if we don't fully agree with everything you say, we can always appreciate the passion of your convictions. Absolutely. Just so long as we make sure to always treat each other with respect and compassion. Give me a f***ing break. Rachel! I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad! You're a hypocrite! Okay? I know! and never, ever taken for granted. <clears throat> I'm not sure I agree, James. Oh? I thought you of all people would be grateful for family, at least. Gratitude seems like such a nice luxury. I can't say I've had the privilege to afford it. That is an excellent point, Chloe. We must always be sensitive to the way our privileges shape our perspectives. Well said, Mom. Still, there must be some room for personal responsibility. I'm sure you agree, Chloe. My dad was super responsible. He always drove under the speed limit. Then one day, a truck came along and turned him into a super responsible pancake. See? This is why it's so important to invite diverse voices to converse with one another. It's absolutely stimulating. Hmm. Highly stimulating. Since you have answers for everything, Chloe, perhaps you'd like to enlighten us 
with some of your hard-earned wisdom about the world. Sure. I believe there's always darkness in this world, and it usually comes from the people we thought we could trust. Very well articulated, Chloe. I am consistently impressed with how politically aware your generation is. Chloe is an excellent articulator. Excuse me, dear? But if this is what passes for politically aware these days, we're in serious trouble. James, that's unfair and also rude to Chloe. No, I don't believe it is. It seems clear that these points Chloe is making are merely veiled attacks on me. All I'm saying is, theoretically speaking, if you happen to be a lying sleazeball, you might not be as sneaky as you think. Don't worry, Mr. Amber. I can tell that my progressive attitude is not welcome in this house. I'll see myself out. James, Chloe is right. You owe her an apology. I owe her no such thing. I believe she's willfully acting belligerently just as she did this morning. It is how people like her respond to adversity. People like her? So we're profiling now? This is what eight months in the DA's office has taught you. I resent that. My office is committed to fair and equitable treatment. Yes, I've read the press releases. Excuse me? Are you calling me a hypocrite? Ha! <laughs> Rachel! I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad! You're a hypocrite! Okay? I know! <laughs> 